Hey guys, I'm Theo Joe. I've got a tutorial today about how you can increase the performance of any of your Android phones. I'm just working with my old Nexus 5. It should work with anything, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is enable a secret developer mode on your phone. It's not enabled by default, but it's pretty easy. A lot of you may already have it enabled, so let me walk you through that. The first thing you need to do is go to the settings app on your phone, then go all the way down to where it says about phone, and then in there, go again all the way down to where it says build number. Then all you have to do is tap a bunch of times on build number, it'll start to count down. After seven taps, it will say you are now a developer and developer mode is now enabled. Now, if you go to the settings app near the bottom, there will be a developer options menu and this will have a bunch of different settings that will allow you to increase the maximum performance of your phone. There's a lot of different complicated settings in here. Just be careful because some of it may affect performance negatively. So here's what you wanna do in that developer options menu. There are three settings you want to enable. The first is show CPU usage. This is under monitoring, just toggle that on. And the next two are under input. You want to enable show touches and pointer location and just toggle those two on as well. When you enable these special developer monitoring features, it actually increases the maximum performance of the phone because it unlocks some reserved power. That's because developers, when they're making apps, they typically require additional CPU usage to test their apps, develop them, and they need extra power that a regular user wouldn't. So the more of these three settings that you enable, the more power is unlocked from this reserve. And that's because it allows for better development use. Now, of course, the only downside to this is it will be a little bit more annoying with these settings enabled and showing on the screen, but the performance of the phone will certainly be better. So let's find out if this actually worked and how much. Let's go do a benchmark called 3 Mark, and we're gonna run the Ice Storm benchmark and we'll see how it does before and after. So let's do this first run. See how that goes. It's kind of juddery, but that's because this is somewhat of an older phone, a few years old. And then let's see what the final result is. And we can compare that to after we do the upgrade. And this is what it looks like after the upgrade. Not an enormous increase, but we'll have to see the results at the end. And these are the results afterwards. As you can see, it's a significant increase on the same phone. So that is great. We know it works. All right, so now you can go ahead and increase your performance of your Android phone. There are some other settings you might like in that developer options menu. For example, having to do with the animation scale. For example, I like to lower it to about 0.5. What this does is shortens animations like opening apps. It doesn't actually increase the performance of the phone, but it makes it appear much snappier. So I like to have that enabled. You might wanna check that out as well. And again, be careful with the settings in the developer options menu. These are normally settings reserved for very advanced users and scientists. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it and let others know how much of an increase you got for different phones so we know which ones it's even more worth it for. If you guys wanna continue watching, I've got some other tutorials on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think you'll enjoy that. I'm looking forward to hearing from you either in the comment section or on Twitter. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.